Hello folks, it's James here and welcome to the Movie Mad channel. Why did I look down there? I was just checking to see if my computer was on. <laughs> uh, today is Sunday, uh, just been to my son's football match and I'm going to film Shelf 20 Part 2 of my complete Blu-ray 4K DVD whole collection. And I will show you that in a bit. And we'll start off, because I say we're starting off at the back of Shelf 20. I said Shelf 21 throughout the first part of that so please forgive me if you've got yourself a cup of tea that'd be good i just had a cup of tea and a snowball which i probably shouldn't have that was good a nice wee treat shall we say and then i've got to make up for it with the rest of the week i'm gonna so there we go so let's without further ado move on to the intros and then we'll move on to part two of shelf 20. thanks guys Right guys, I'm back. So I've just moved the stuff down from the back of shelf 20 so I can show you at the front. I think it's easier to do it that way. And then I'll move out of the way and then we'll go through the bits and pieces at the back of this one. So these are the back top, shall we say, uh, on there. So let's have a little look at what we've got. Just before I begin, just to let you know, I've mixed some of these up. So I might have showed you some of these in your first the first video. So if I did, please forgive me. But there we go. I'm pretty sure I showed these ones. Maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't. Oh, we'll just go through them anyway. So there we go. So here we go. Uh, Night of the Generals. Oh, that's not in shot, is it? That's better. Night of the Generals. Absolute classic. I really enjoy that one with Peter to do. I like a... You know what gets me? It's sort of like a murder mystery in the middle of a war. But the victim is a person that they would line up and shoot for no reason anyway. So that's why it's a bit uh, sinister, that one for me. And Peter O'Toole plays a cold character in that one. He certainly does. What have we got next? We have Mad Max Fury Road. Controversial. I not like it. Got it because it was in the Mad Max series. I watched the first three and I watched that one and I just didn't like it. But it's in the collection. I should put it up with other Mad Maxes, but that's in the Mel Gibbs section. But, you know, I might change my mind one day. Kingdom of Heaven. Great movie. I really enjoy that one. Liam Neeson, Orlando Broom, Ridley Scott. Epic. Again, my wife really enjoyed that one, so I've added that to the collection as well. Another decent, decent movie. American Sniper with Bradley Cooper. Sad ending, but it's a great movie. What else have we got? What else have we got? Lancaster Skies. I have not watched that one yet. I really need to change that case, don't I? I should do that. I'll keep that out to do that. Uh, inspired by a true story, but I haven't actually watched it yet. Wages of Fear. I have watched that. And the remake. What's, what's the remake called? With uh, Rob Schneider. What people think this is better than the remake. I do as well I think. It's just I've not seen this for a long time. I have, wa I have watched it all the way through. And it is a good movie. It is a good movie. I showed this in my short. I don't know if you've seen my short. Uh, of 10 westerns. But. Go admit this. I haven't seen it. Young Guns 1 and 2. I prefer the second. I might have shown that in the flash shelf. I don't know if I'm getting confused here. 12 Strong. Another Chris Hensworth war movie. 
it was all right. It's it's. It's, it's again, it's a war movie, but it's, it's a forgettable war movie, I think. Not 100% sure on that. It's been a while. It's been a while. Hurt Locker, this one won the Oscar. I actually quite enjoy it. Uh, Hurt Locker, and again, I think it's a bit overrated. Well, it won six Oscars, okay? I thought it was a good movie. I went in and expected an absolute beauty, and... It was it good? Yes, it was a good movie. I just don't see. Maybe my expectations were overhyped. This one I picked up and I should have watched it by now and I haven't. It's supposed to be a really, really good movie and that's the 800. Let's slide these along a bit. So we stay in shot and I'm going to move the camera. Will I? <laughs> right, what have we got next? Crash. I'd like to say I remember watching this movie, but I'm not 100% sure I did. Sandra Bullock, Don Cheadle. Moving at speed of life, we're bound to collide each other. Can't remember it. Monuments name, man. For me, a disappointing war movie. I thought it was going to be better than it was. You know, as I think Roy says this as well, that when you get big ensemble cast with big stars, then sometimes it doesn't work out, and I just think that's the case. Now, this one's a really good one. I haven't watched this on Blu-ray yet, but I watched it. It's a drone movie, uh, Good Good Kill, with Ethan Hawke. I really like that one. It says, from the producer of The Lord of War and The Hurt Locker, and he's basically a drone pilot. I think that's a really, really good one. Jet Li, The One... Haven't watched it yet, but I got it pretty cheap. And uh, the UK version was pretty hard to get, so I got this Australian version. I think I could go off railways for three or four pounds. Lovelace. I got this out of that last video shop. You know, that last video rental shop, but I haven't watched it yet. Good lenticular, though. Now, I don't know if you guys know what that's all about, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, King Arthur and the Legend of the Sword with Charlie Hunnam wife liked it everybody slated this movie I think David Beckham's in it as well I didn't think it was that bad I thought it was alright Cowboys vs Aliens with Harrison Ford Olivia Wilde and Daniel Craig been a long time since I watched that one to be honest with My memory is really going because I have seen this, but when you watch so many movies, there's only so much your brain can retain, I think. I think I got these at the charity shop and they looked pretty good, so they were 3D off the Hobbit. Yeah, I paid £2.50 for it. Extended Hobbit 3D. Oops. The, des the Extended Desolation of Smog 3D. And... Got a nice thin one of the Battle of the Five Armies 3D, all steel books. So, pretty good. Not as good as the Lord of the Rings. There you go. Right, let's move along again. What have we got here? Next one here is one I should watch and have watched. It's just, um, is this the one where he, he gets, he, get, he plays well on a computer game and becomes the. Pilot. You've been recruited by the Starlight to send the frontier against Sar, and he thinks it's a game. Yeah, that is that one. I do like that one. I just haven't watched it on the Blu-ray yet. We then have the Punisher. Dolph Lundgren one, two cut special edition. Again, haven't watched it yet. So many I haven't watched. Really need to get on it. I seen that. I picked this one up in the charity shop, and it was an Elvis one. Love me tender. I'm sure it's a musical, but again, I haven't seen it yet. Casino Royale, collector's edition, with David Niven and Peter Sellers. Again. Please forgive me, I haven't seen it. <laughs> I have seen this one, and I really enjoy it. I've just picked this up lately. It's Frost vs Nixon, 
and it's a political thriller where David Frost gets De uh, Nixon to admit to his Watergate scandal. The Railway Man. Just picked this up recently, so I haven't watched it yet, but it is... Roy says it's a very good film, so that's why I've got it in the collection. Waterloo. Now, Larry sent me this. I haven't actually watched the Blu-ray yet, but I have watched the I have watched the digital. And I really enjoyed this one, but there's a lot of controversy in the horses with this one, isn't there? But there we go. But I thought it was a really good movie. Really good movie, The Battle of Waterloo. Orson Welles and Christopher Plummer. I'm presuming that's Orson Welles and that's Christopher that's Christopher Plummer, yeah. But I have watched this, but on the digital, it is a long movie, and I enjoyed I enjoyed it, but I just haven't watched the Blu-ray yet. Another one I picked up in the CX, I haven't watched the Long Riders. What the hell? Was, again, I pick these up when I can because sometimes if you see that in a charity shop, it might not be there the next time, and you a couple of years later you'll go, oh, I wanted to watch that. Three more, not one of them I've watched. Red Hill. Comes a Horseman. And The Searchers. But all look decent movies, don't they? Right, so we'll move to the back. We'll move to the back. Here we are. Excuse me for a second, I'm just going to get a cushion. Because I am, my old knees are struggling. As I was saying in part one, why are all the all the Mission Possibles not at the front? It's because there's a little box here at the back. With Mission Impossible 1, 2, 3, Mission Impossible and Ghost Protocol. I think I might even have Ghost Protocol separate. Which I don't won't need then, will I? I do like all the Mission Impossible films. I actually think Fallout is the best. The latest one, Dead Reckoning, is pretty good as well. But I think Fallout's the ultimate one. I think that was just a great movie. Kill Bill, definitely seen that one. Volume 2 is about here somewhere, but it should really be together, but I don't know why it's not. But Quentin Tarantino. We then have Dark Shadows, which is a bit of a weird one. I have seen it, and it just it was just a bit weird. Vampires, if I remember rightly, and it just, it, it was like a vampire family living together, and it was a bit slow, a bit slow. Beyond Skyline, I have seen this. I got it from, uh, I got it from Poundland. I really, really liked the first one. This one isn't too bad. The third one, I really didn't. This one's not bad because it sort of continues on. Uh, basically, so the skylines where they get invaded. This is after they've been invaded for a while, and there's a little bit of a rebel alliance. Uh, going for it but it's not as good as the first and the third one really for me went downhill Paul Walker in Vehicle 17 again not watched it Seventh Son I have watched it and I actually pretty enjoyed it Wizards Against Witches well yeah, the seven son, the seven childs against witches. And actually, um, Jeff Bridges and Julianne Moore. Julianne Moore plays a great part. The Skim Bridges plays a good part too. I thought it was pretty good. Enjoyed it. Fargo. Classic. I've only recently watched that. Some more Disney. With Dick Van Dyke and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. That should really be in the Disney section, shouldn't it? And <laughs> what do you know it? What do you know it? Next. It is the Ghost Protocol Triple Play. I don't really need that anymore, do I? So I can take that out and save a space. There we go. Next. Another trio of westerns I've not watched yet. Oh no no! This is the this is the true that I have seen. Uh, with Jeff Bridges, Matt Damon, Josh Brolin, I have seen this one. I actually really enjoyed that one. 
It's the original I've not seen yet. Another one, Big Country with Gregory Peck. Not seen it yet. Gun of the Oki Corral. Yes, I have, but it's years since I've seen that. Kirk Douglas, one actor. I just watched Path of the Glory the other day, and that's a great movie too. The Chamber. Just recently got that. Chris O'Donnell and Gene Jackman. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen with Sean Connery. And again, I was going out of print, so I grabbed it. And I remember I remember it got a hard time this one, but it didn't get uh what I say it got more grief than I thought it deserved. I didn't think it was a terrible movie. But this was his last acting role, wasn't it? Red Tails. I have watched this one and this is a good a World War II movie where the black pilots that are known as the Red Tails seem to get stuck with the not so great missions but then they come into their own. I thought it was a great movie. Great lenticular on that one too. I could move in closer I would but this is as far as close as the stand will get. But yeah, great lenticular on that. Then I have The Flash, the complete first season. I have watched a few of these episodes, but I haven't watched as many. Oh, I haven't watched the whole first season. Oh, here we go. One I watch over and over again, I think it's a great movie. It's, it's, uh, Mark Zuckerberg making the Facebook, or Facebook is it now known. It's a great movie. It's got. It's also got Justin Timberlake in. I think he plays some good roles. He plays a good role in this. He plays a good role in, in Time. Maybe I'm wrong, but I like it. I like him. Then we start off with the Transformers movies. We start off with the first one, which I think is a great movie. I do really do like that. Uh, Shia LaBeouf, Megan Fox. Great movie, Transformers. That was a really, really good one. Dark in the Moon wasn't bad either. I think that's the second one, is it? That's the second one. Third one wasn't bad either. It wasn't, is it Revenge of the Fallen? It wasn't, but they progressively get worse. And this one here, with Matt Warburg, I'm really, really sorry, but it's truly awful. But that's nothing to be said for the last night. Uh, Roy sent me that one, and and he and I appreciate appreciate, it, but I just don't think this is a good movie. It's you know I'm a, I'm a completist. I'm going to keep it all. I might change my mind on this, but I tried to watch this three times, and I haven't managed to get through it. It's just too long, too many. Robot fights. You know that if you go to a Transformers movie, that's what you'd expect him. But this one, I just could not fathom what they were trying to do with this movie. Then we have Ransom, Sean Connery, Ian McShane. I haven't seen that yet, or have I? Hmm. I've seen remakes of these, I Spit on Your Grave, original, and I'm pretty sure I've seen this one a long, long time ago. But, it's again, it's been a while. <laughs> oh, there's my other one that I can't open, which is James Patterson's Alex Ross, because my wife got it, and as you can see, she wrote Happy Valentine's Day. Not the same with Voices, but Roy got me another copy of Voices, so that was appreciated, Roy. And... I've seen this one. Again, everybody gave this a hard time, this movie, but I, th I thought it was actually pretty good. Just not watched the the Blu-ray. Shape Part 1 and 2, not watched it. Hangover Part 2, half watched it, but it was too long ago. I hope you were seeing that in shot there. I don't know if I was doing that good. good. Let me just move these out of the way so we can uh, do that. Let's move over. Move over, camera. Jumanji, the next level. I actually really enjoy these versions of the Jumanji movies. Uh, with The Rock and 
Kevin, is it Kevin Hart? Yeah, and Jack Black. Yeah, this was a real. This, this was wasn't as good as the first one, but it was still very watchable. Quigley Down Under. I haven't watched it yet. Red Dawn. I have watched. Now I was going to make a war movie short. Short. Okay. Or a or a yeah. Now this is a war movie, but it's a made up war. So would that count in the war movie section, or would it not? Tell me what you think. I think it would. And then we have the remake. Again, everybody gave this one a hard time. I think Roy sent this to me because he didn't like it. I could be getting this wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was Roy that said it to me. And I actually didn't mind it. It isn't as good as the first one. But... As a standalone movie, I thought it was alright. We have one of the Allegiant and Chargian movies. I think this is the second one. It's Defiant, Insurgent, Allegiance. Don't, I'm sure I've got the other two somewhere, but I don't know where they are in the grand scheme of things in my sets. But as I was saying the other day, I really need to start taking movies out here that aren't my favourites. Would this class that as one of my favourites? No. Would I rewatch it again? Probably, maybe. But I need to get the other two, so if I'd have to search through the other three, that's just making it too awkward to do that. And I probably would have decased this one, but this decasing doesn't fit in a nice slip cover, and it has got a nice one. And it's also got two discs, which makes it a wee bit harder to decase as well. So that's why some of the ones up here probably would have decased, but I haven't. It's just because they're, you know, nice additions. But I'm, I think I'm going to finally build my last shelving unit, as I was saying in another video. And when that's done and that's full and I'm out of space, then things like this... We're going to focus here. Things like this are probably going to have to be decased. Then between us two, again, <laughs> it's actually got one re one really good funny bit in this movie. It's not as good as the first one, but I enjoy it. Again, I would decase this, but it's a triple one, and it's sucker punch. Ugh, you know what? Why can't I just get rid of it? I should get rid of it. A Michael Caine movie that I haven't watched yet. War movie, Play Dirty. A Daniel Craig war movie that I have watched and I thought was really, really good and is Defiance. I, re I would rewatch that, definitely rewatch that. He basically plays a Jew who's been persecuted and they live in the woods and they rebel and they just try to survive, you know. Pretty good. I've got these Spartacuses. I'm pretty sure I've got two out of four. Or I might have another one somewhere. Was it Gods of the Arena and Vengeance? Nice slip covers on it. And that's a good series. I've watched it, but I haven't. I'm pretty sure I'm missing one of the sets. I can't really watch it in order. Quite a few people say that this is a great movie, but I haven't got around to it yet. And that's Fantastic Mr. Fox. Another Western I got out of Poundland, I think I paid £2 for it. Jane Got a Gun with Natalie Portman. Again, I, haven't, I can't remember if I watched this or not. I think I have. But it essentially has got a nice slip cover. I try and keep the ones, you know, with slip covers and things off my shelf. But I'm getting my words mixed up. What I mean by that is I try and keep ones with slip covers that look nice on my shelves, but I kind of keep doing that. I've got to start keeping favourites. So, although that's a nice addition, you know, in case it might start happening on some of these ones. We then have Legend. My wife likes this one. Doesn't like me at the moment, but. 
Oh, just joking. <laughs> uh, now you see me. That is actually a pretty good movie. I forgot that I had that on 4K. I think Larry sent me it and that was really nice of him. And that's actually a really good one. It's They're basically doing a magic show, but they are doing a heist at the same time. That's a good one. Me before you. Got the charity shop, what can I say? Never seen it. The favourite. Roy sent me that and he says it's really good. There's so many movies, so little time, you know. I have actually made a concerted effort to watch quite a few lately though. I've, I am, you know, so I'm watching some. Spring Breakers, American Comedy. Been a long time. Oh, now this one coming up. This is a great movie. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing County. If you've not seen that, I would thoroughly recommend it. It's about a lady. She's not very well off. She's just doing her job. And someone has murdered her daughter. And she doesn't believe the police department are doing enough to find the killers. So what she does is she uses all her money to get three billboards, basically, I don't want to say slagging off the police department, but saying you're not doing enough to find these killers. And it's freedom of speech, so they can't take it down. And does that lead to the killer being found? I'll tell you the truth, I actually can't remember. I just mean remember this being really, really good film. So I would recommend that one. <laughs> Roy and Larry would appreciate this one, I don't think. It's American comedy, but I think it's for <laughs> McLovin. <laughs> oh, it just he goes he got he's like one of them was on the night and he's going to try get get beer. And his ID, his, his, name, his surname is McLovin. It's just, I just thought it was quite funny. It's crude American humour. I, I like it. Uh, Lady in the Van. Penland Special. Again, I haven't watched it. But I do like Maggie Smith. And I'm pretty sure I'll do it. James Corden's in it though. That's a bit of a... You know... It's not that James Corden used to, uh, you know, he was in Gavin and Stacey and things like that, but he's, since then he's become a bit of a. You know, I can, if I'd done that about every movie, about what things that. I think you wouldn't watch anything, would you? So, there we go. And the last one, I haven't seen it yet, but I picked it up because I didn't know that Assassins with Bridget Fonda was a remake of this. So I got Nikita, and that is in my list to watch so there you go that is shelf 20 complete I've got one more shelf then I've got box sets still got all the ones in the poly pockets to go as well and they're at the back there but I don't know if anybody would actually want to see them you know what I said it's my complete collection I'll video it I'll put it on here if you, people are going to watch it then fair enough but I hope you've enjoyed it <sighs> I've come to the realisation that through doing this, there's so many movies I haven't watched here, there really is. But, again, I'm trying to watch them, I'm trying, you know, it sounds like a chore, I'm trying to get through them, I'm not. Because if they're on my shelf and they're there, they're there for me to watch. And it's my choice when I want to watch them when I'm ready. Well, it sounds like it's raining outside really hard. Well, there you go. Right. Thanks very much, guys. I'll see you next time.